Hey, I just wanted to double check for tomorrow's time. Okay. Yeah, I'm really excited to see him. I can't wait. It's been way too long. Okay. I'll be there. So I'm heading up to uh, Dragon's mom's house, her new house. Um, gonna go pick up Dragon. He's been there for a couple weeks now since he got out of jail uh, with his mom and his aunt. So, uh, sorry, but uh, you know they kind of requested that there wouldn't be any cameras or anything. You know, just kind of lying low for a little bit. So I'm just trying to coordinate with people. You know, get a little get together going for Dragon when he comes back. Sandra's been around. Really just hanging out in the backyard a lot. It's kind of weird. So, uh, let's grab lunch next time I get down here. Sure. Get uh, excited to see Dragon? Yeah. I think it's going to be a little weird, but it's going to be great. I think I should get him something. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm sure he'll be excited to see you. And seeing this guy again. The stars. So, I know it sucks. I almost didn't do it. Uh, I don't hate it. It's okay. You can tell me it sucks. So, Troll, how's he doing? Not good. You wear a collar with a bomb around your neck, and when you go so many feet from your... They don't tell you who your partner, who you're, you're linked with. But when you go so many feet, it starts. So you have to all get back together. Him, him and his partner figure out who each other are so they're able to escape. But no matter what, they can't get so many, or they're, both their heads blow up. They even have to jump out of an airplane. So they, you know how, how they're supposed to control tech. I'm not making this up, dude. I think I might call this gazebo, troll zebo. I think he knew what I was trying to do. He's been avoiding me and everyone else he knows. I think he feels an intervention is coming. Troll, you have a problem, and you need help. I know, I know, I need help, but I'm no good. You're not no good. And, and, and I want to go around the world like you did, and 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 the kid from Radio Flyer. Troll, you need help. Let me help you. I I just don't want to be around anybody now. Okay, I mean, I I I just want to get get some money together and and get out of town and. Troll, I know you've been crashing here for a while. Let's get you back to the shelter. I'm under a shelter, okay? I mean, look, I even have electricity now. I mean, you know, the world kind of is my shelter now. It's getting cold. This is I got wood. I'll build a fire. Well, maybe Amy can help. I mean, she's good like that. You know, maybe getting a professional involved would be the first step. I was thinking that too. You know, I told Troll that we've accomplished a lot around here, cleaning up the town, and then it's okay if everything ain't perfect. Got the fire pit almost away. Dragon likes it. Uh, hope he's holding up okay. Talked to Kyle a little while ago, and uh, he said that Dragon is at his mom's new place with his aunt, and uh, he'll be home soon. It's really nice being back here at Dragons in the woods here and uh, hearing the kids play next door. I'm gonna set up some more chairs back here, get some food ready. A uh, Dragon digs his chips. Sandra? Yeah? I see you around here from time to time and at Mr. Colby's. Come talk to us. Are you okay? All right. I'm just back here straightening up the yard. I, have you heard about Dragon? I did. What about Genevieve? Have you, have you heard any updates? No, not in a while. You believe me with her? Mr. Colby, I, I think he was pissed when he heard about Dragon. Can't fucking believe it. Whatever. Good for him. I hope Kyle and Byron are happy. I guess that lawyer did her thing. No, it was the virus. Overcrowding in there? They, they got his sentence reduced because of that. Oh, I, I heard he got out because of good behavior. 
People don't change, Byron. Yeah, they do. Listen, um, when Dragon comes back, we're going to have a little shindig back here for him. Um, you're certainly invited to come to the party. Yeah. I'll talk to my mom. You don't have to keep checking in with her. <laughs> I need to tell her where I go now. Does she know you're here right now? Probably not. Could you not tell her? I won't tell her. I'll just say I didn't see you. Just a ghost in the woods. That's what I'll say. Okay. So that financial guy that you, uh, your dad recommended, he's really great. Eh, a little weird, but... Marty's cool. He restores rocking chairs. Oh, well that's cool. Yeah. I wouldn't mind a nice iced tea and a good sit in a rocking chair today. Yeah, but you got work to do, brother. You're not retired like me. I mean, I do get bored sometimes, you know. You can take this place over if you want. You still haven't decided yet? I'm not sure. I, I just keep putting it off. Yeah, but you don't have to do the exact same thing your dad did. You can, you, you can help out people. You'd like to help out people. You helping out the town. You can do it all right from here and do it your way, the McShay way. Maybe. Hey. Hey there. I know who you are. No need for introduction, James. Yeah, I've been here a few times since Kyle bought the place. Guess we just miss each other. Yeah, I remember you from way back. Yeah, I remember you and Jenny were close. Yeah, we were. What? I don't know, it's just being back here again. The dragon. Never thought it'd happen again. Times are crazy. Kyle just texted me a few minutes ago. They're down at the store. They'll be here in a few minutes. Cool. You nervous? A bit. When uh, Dragon was in jail, I really never went to go see him. And even before he went in, I hadn't seen him much. I'm not sure what to do. Maybe just a hug. Yeah, man, we redid the floors, added some recessed lighting, a little bit of a paint change, opened up this whole kitchen here. What do you think? Everything looks completely different, man. You like it? I think it looks good. So I didn't touch Jenny's room or your room. I made the guest room downstairs for myself and your mom's room I redid. this <laughs> so said you missed TV I had a TV in here yeah well you said you'd like to watch TV and chill and watch movies and Theaters are closed now, so I figured. So you figured go out and get me a big ass TV? Thanks. Kyle. Dude, you're you're like a brother, man. You're more than you're more than a cousin to me. Thank you for everything. The house, my truck, getting wool for me, the TV. 
just tired, man. So it feels like forever since I've slept, since I've actually been able to dream. I just need a minute, man. All right. Do you want me to tell Baron and James to take off? No, it's not like that, man. <clears throat> I just need a couple minutes. Okay, well, we got Chris and a couple other people stopping by, and for now it's just us assholes. You guys are just the right amount of asshole. Dragon loves his hot shit. So we got him some Cheetos flaming hot popcorn. This is seltzer, carbonated water. This is flavored seltzer, mango limeade. Calorie free and alcohol free, so I'll probably be the only one drinking it today. Mr. Colby's backyard is almost ready for the shelter. All done digging. Nice. Does he still think the end of the world is coming? It just me, James. Listen, maybe we should hold off on a Mr. Colby or Genevieve talk. Dragon knows that she hasn't come home and doesn't know where she is or anything. No worries, I got you. How was that shower? Felt like a million bucks, man. Hey, we got some snacks, some beer. We can uh, we can grill, start a fire if you want. Your truck is solid. And that radio, Wolf, we left it out there right by it. That should be working now. Well, the radio should be working, not the truck. Truck still needs some work. Grabbing that radio was a real interesting experience. Yeah, man. I heard. I think I'm good, though, with a fire. At least for now. Just kind of want to check on my truck. I appreciate all the effort you guys put into getting that radio for me, though. Hey, we got something else for you. Nah, Byron. We'll do it later. Uh, okay. Nah, man. Get what you got to get. Nah, I'll get it. Nothing beats hints of lime. Good to see you again, buddy. I'm sorry I didn't come visit you in jail. And you ain't got to apologize for that. Just glad you guys are here. Alright. So a friend of mine made this. It's the rainbow bird tree. That's you. That's Jenny. Kyle. This is awesome, man. Well, this is pretty talented. I was going to hang it up on the wall, but I figured you should pick the spot. Thanks, man. Thank you to all you guys, man, for everything. How about a fire? Hey, I'll grill if anybody's down. Nah, that's all right. You guys can get started without me. I'm going to go check on my truck. Great being back in this garage again. Man, I miss this old girl. Wanted to stash this one separate so that my mom couldn't get rid of it or sell it on me. Hey. How's the tax life treating you, James? It's alright. Troll? Hanging on. Kinda. I mean, it's about the way we're all doing. You want me and Byron to leave? I know I love my own space. Sometimes I hate being around people. No, it's not like that, man. I, I just got to do something with my hands. For the past couple of years, I've just been sitting around, wasting away and reading. Um, I'm taking over my dad's practice. I've been putting off making a decision, but I know what it is. Maybe you can come work with me. Dude, I, I don't know anything about taxes, James. We could do anything. I might have some plans. Well, I'll think about it. Good. Hey, Kyle's growing. I'm going to go back. You can stay here or join us. The choice is yours. But you do owe me one thing, Dragon. What's that, James? The day you turned yourself in, 
You said you were sorry we hadn't smashed stuff again. <laughs> It was weird building the fire here without dragging. Oh, if he joins us, he joins us. What the fuck? You guys want to smash some stuff? If you guys want to join, I got a crowbar. I think you should finish it off. Been a few days since I've been back. It's real tough getting used to the freedom. Looks like Colin Byron actually uh, did a little bit of work for me. <laughs> no way. Can you just give me a minute? Going to grab some tools. I'm going to take a piss. When I get back out, you're going to be gone. Just give me two minutes to talk, man. Two minutes is all I'm asking. It's not a whole lot. You know, two minutes. Nah, I don't have two minutes to spare for you. Now just get out of here. I'm Seth. His father. 